Hey guys, how's it going? Marcella here. Oh, things. Things are happening. Things are being teased. Specifically Crash. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. I was just hyped and a little disappointed, but still hyped and just overall excited for these things that have been happening recently. So, you've probably heard it from people like Jeremiah Isaiah and G-Man Rocks, but, uh, which I will both, you know, link down below, uh, as usual when I talk about Crash stuff and they've covered it first. But uh, with the PlayStation experience um, that just happened, you know, during this last weekend, day one, there were like four crash records. It's okay, technically three, but I count four for one that I'll be going over. And what this could mean and what this could, um, what this could lead to. So basically, there were specifically three crash references uh, day one of the PlayStation experience. What happened was after, in the very, very beginning of the whole event, when, right after Uncharted 4 was shown, Sean Layton came out in a crash shirt. And I've been hearing from many people online and on Skype with G-Man Rocks that once before, Sean Layton came out in a Vib Ribbon shirt, and that's why we now have, as a sort of a tease, a uh, Vib Ribbon on the PS Store. We also got an announcement for God of War 4, uh, right after he wore a God of War shirt. So, he just wore a Crash shirt not too long ago. What does that mean? They never say anything about any specific kind of release. They never say anything like that. Uh, no other kind of teasing in terms of, like, directly referencing Crash so much. Um, within the Sean Layton part of the, of the show. But that right there was the biggest, right off the gate, the biggest reference. Just to straight out show Crash on stage in some form, in some fashion, uh, it's a big-ass tease. Something's in the works. The next thing is uh, Gio Corsi had uh, the hashtag building the list up on the screens behind him, and uh, if you haven't known, uh, if you don't know, uh, <laughs> everyone who's a Crash fan has been tweeting out to him ever since, you know, before uh, PlayStation Experience, hashtag building the list, bring back Crash, bring back Bandicoot. So... We were thinking, and this is the one that I said was not so much of a tease, but it could have been a tease, uh, technically, because he was saying things like, oh, this is something that we've got one more thing to show you off building the list or whatever, that like, uh, or just like one more game to like, for him to tell while he was up on stage. He was like, we have one more, and then it said building the list, and he was building it up as if it was going to be something possibly crash related. Nothing like that at all. It was not even, I don't even remember what the game was, but it was nothing related to Crash whatsoever. But it's there. That essence was there of the way they're explaining it was as if it could have been that, but it wasn't. And uh, references three and four, uh, okay, I could put them into one technically, so technically there are still three references, but... Uh, References 3 and 4 come in the form of the PS I Love You panel uh, near the end of, I want to say it was day one, where um, some of the guys, including Gio Corsi, Shuhei Yoshida, uh, Yoshida um, and some other guys I don't remember the names of right now, uh, they all were up there doing a Q&A. And um, at one point, uh, I don't know his last name, they didn't even say his last name, but Steve from Epic Games was talking about Paragon... Uh, um, amoeba? I have a list right here. I, uh, amoeba? I don't know which of the two names is the actual name of the card game, but they were talking about a card game, and uh, one of the guys that was up there with him as they were walking off stage briefly mentioned Save the Bandicoot. So they're right there. I'm pretty sure that's a reference. Uh, right as uh, they walked off and everyone started cheering. And immediately after that, reference number four, uh, one of the guys was going to take one more question because they had like only four minutes left of the panel at that point. And someone in the crowd shouted, Crash Bandicoot! And they started talking about it. And they talked about Sean Layton and his shirt. And there goes Yoshida being like, uh, in his little funny comedic way, but still, right there, we've got confirmation that of everything we've seen of them, like mentioning Crash and then kind of trying to play it off, this happened again, live, right in front of us, right there. Uh, Yoshida was going like, like to Gio Corsi, do you know why he was wearing the... And he's like, I, uh, I don't know. Uh, and then they started trying to talk about his PlayStation jersey. So they went off of Sean Layton's shirt and started talking about his jersey. So, uh, but at one point, even before that happened, because that, that's how they got off the subject, 
while they were still on the subject, they were talking about uh, Yoshida posting a picture on like Instagram or something of someone wearing a, a crash hoodie hat thing. And he was trying to play it off as, which I don't know if this is true or not, but he was playing it off as, oh, it was a fat princess headset little thing and someone photoshopped it into Crash. And then one of the guys goes, well, how do you explain, did you photoshop the man in the shirt on stage? And he said, uh, that's augmented reality. <laughs> so, he's hiding something. He is hi he wouldn't have, he didn't have to say that, play it off like it's augmented reality. As a little comedic thing, but still, he didn't have to say that, but he did. And they were all kind of quiet, didn't really talk a whole lot, even though they decided to bring it up after the guy shouted crash in the crowd. Something's happening. What does this all lead to? What will this all possibly lead to? We're speculating something's going down at E3 2016. It has to be. There has to be something going on. Because I've mentioned it time and time again, 20th anniversary and all that, around August, September. So, um... It's got to be E3. Something has to go down. So, what do I think of these references and these teases? It's going to lead to something. <laughs> so, I'm pretty much repeating myself at this point, but that's what I think. Uh, what do you guys think about these references and um, Bring Back Bandicoot? And uh, there are still things going on for Crash for Smash, which I don't think that's going to happen. Personally, I don't think it's going to happen. But if you think it's going to happen... Stick to those beliefs, because, hey, maybe it could happen. And if that does happen, maybe Crash can come back. I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in other Crash-related discussion videos uh, in the past, but um, somehow, some way, Crash is coming back. There has to, there is no doubt about it. With these references, four references, again, technically four, three, day one, um, it's gotta, there's got to be something. And if there is nothing... <laughs> You're gonna piss off. Sony's gonna piss off a whole lot of fans, me included, G Man Rocks included, Jeremiah Isaiah included. So all of us included. It's gonna hurt because they've been teasing Crash since like 2013 or so, and that's really it. So what do you guys think of these teases and references? Do you think Crash is going to be announced in some way or another? Even if it's just a an HD. And I mentioned this before. I know this for a fact. HD re-release of the original three games, if Naughty Dog somehow, temporarily even, got the rights back to at least re-release the first three games for the PS4, uh, remastered in HD, like they have Jack and Daxter and Uncharted, that would be awesome, and I would totally get that. So, um, if something, something, something has to happen. So, that's really it. Uh, I, stay tuned on the channel because I will be going over... Nintendo stuff once that announcement drops. So that should come either today or tomorrow. But until then, I will see you guys later and uh, take care.